Welcome back to Retro Game Geek. Today we're back at the Arcade Hotel in Amsterdam. Be sure to check out part one if you missed that, as the owner shows us around the hotel a bit. Today I'll be showing you some of the rooms and the extras that you can find at the Arcade Hotel in Amsterdam. Let's get started. This is the retro area. As you see here, we have different consoles. Sega Mega Drive. It's known as the Sega Genesis in North America. 2600 Atari. And a Dreamcast. And obviously the proper CRTs to go with it. And some board games. And a nice little library over here as well. Lots of comic books and magazines. See Retro Gamer here. You can get your Ms. Pac-Man on. Or maybe you want to play some Bomb Jack. Or if you want to have a really tough challenge, there's Ghosts and Goblins. Or maybe you want a Renaissance photo with lightsabers. So here we have a room for four people. And obviously with that you would have games that can be played with four players. So what have we got here? We've got the uh, Xbox One. A PS2 and a GameCube. Very cool. All those controllers to go along with it. And a nice little couch to sit on to play. Very cool. Nice view outside, too. Let's see this. Yeah. Very nice. All the bicyclists, because it's Amsterdam. Oh, and we have LED lights in the bathroom. Very cool. And here's the elevator in the hotel. <laughs> Use me or I'll cut off your hand. Good info about this. The arcade bar. <laughs> nice. The brick wall. Oh, it changes. Very cool. Like, All right, is this a double room? Nope, it's for four people. So a family room, I guess I'd call it. They probably have a really hip name for it. Uh, a mini PS2, an Xbox One, the VCR model, and the Super Nintendo, one of my favorites, along with the controllers, obviously. And also, as you said, there's a modern um, console in every room. The one thing this room has is nice is it has a little balcony, which is really cute. A little chair on there. For the completionists among you who always have to name your game in box, how about just a bunch of boxes? That's pretty cool. And go with a box of boxing as well to finish it off. A nice one person room. What do we have here? Got the classic NES. Sweet. Be happy if you get this room. Obviously the nice decorations. Oh, and they got some Ninja Turtles. What kind of room is the complete without Ninja Turtles? They got you covered here at the Arcade Hotel. And another doorless bathroom. Very nice. Nice desk for work or gaming. So I got a nice PlayStation 1 here. If you're staying for two in this bed. And also at the Arcade Hotel, you can get poutine, which is made by an authentic Quebecois here. <laughs> so, can you tell us a bit about the poutine, actually? Uh, it's St. Hubert's powdered gravy. Okay. Um, mozzarella buffalo cheese as opposed to the cheese curds. And it's, you know, premium, high-quality McCain Dutch fries. Oh, nice. McCain. So, it's, so what goes into it exactly for people who don't know anything about poutine? Oh, uh, it's French fries, gravy, and cheese. Okay, great. Yeah, so that's okay. the and it tastes delicious, I can confirm. Yeah. Hold on a second.
Maybe you want to just take a break with some cappuccino? And there's a cat! And if you get tired of uh, video games, apparently there's a huge chess set out here you can play. And you can sit and watch. And sit up here, have a beer, relax, and then get back to your video games. So wait, I see a box here. What's in the box? Could it be a bunch of handhelds? What have we got in here? Is it a game? Bull, nice. It is a game. You can go all traditional here. Coming soon, Jules de Bull. Jules de Bull. French viewers can comment on how bad my French pronunciation is. If you want to get a room in 2022, use code RGGeek for 11% off your stay. Thanks for watching. Please like if you liked this video. If you made it this far, I bet you did. Please subscribe, and I got more content coming at ya. Also, support me on Patreon to support the channel. And I'll see you next time on Retro Game Geek.